betting uh, the not so much uh, anymore is more down to my own fault. Uh, I need to uh, I need to get studying again to to get the edge back. But yeah, it's a great product. I love the exchange. It's uh, it's really it's uh, in my opinion one of the better bookmakers, if not the best bookmaker out there. Stepping on the gas and moving on to race number six, due off at 15.20. It will be run over 1,000 metres, where the youngsters are dominating the anti-post market. Number six, Princess Arlo, is two to one. Number one, Divine Moonlight, is three to one. Number nine, Flying the Star, is six to one, with number 10, Maquette, out seven to one. Just looking at race number six, we do have a rerun of Divine Moonlight when finishing second, and also interviews with Garth Puller and Duncan Hells. Divine Moonlight's the danger here in after. Behind that, pour some sugar on me. Coming out of the 200 now, Divine Moonlight here in after. Between runners, Red Roses 2. Divine Moonlight though takes it up here in after. Red Roses 2's trying to come back for more. Here in after, Red Roses 2's fighting right back. Red Roses 2 comes back and wins it. Second, Divine Moonlight, third to here in the time after. to flower, doing nicely. I think she could run a better race. She's, her two runs have been disappointing thus far, but she came with a few issues and uh, she's a small little filly but she's very gutsy. Willemie's doing nicely, I've got the Appy on, she's got a four claim on her, if you can manage her just take her down quietly and if she comes out and she's in the mood um, on that rating she should uh, she should run a good race. I'm a catch, she enjoys the thousand meters, her last run I thought was a good run, she's never been really good in soft ground, I was cutting up quite badly that day so to run fourth I thought was a decent effort, she's got a lot of weight to carry but I think uh, also can run into quartets. Looking at this race, number six, Princess Arlo from the Glen Cotson team. The ladies will absolutely fall in love with this daughter of Vercingetorix. And looking at the form line, came to hand nicely from the first run to the second run. And then last time out beat Q the Rebel. And just looking at Princess Arlo, once again goes down in trips. So let's have a look there. 1,000 metres. Devon between Princess Arlo and number one, Divine Moonlight. They are improving horses. Princess Arlo, are you worried the trip is a little bit sharp nowadays? Yeah, um, I do think that there is opposition to both number six, uh, Princess Arlo, and number one, Divine Moonlight. I know these top the betting markets. Um, number one, Divine Moonlight, very, very good last run. has got Samanga Kumalo aboard, but that was in a very small field. Then if you look at number six, Princess Arlo, this one is dropping in trip. Yes, won the maiden very, very well at Scottsville. Healthy respect for this individual, but I'm leaning towards the older horses. I thought number nine, Flying the Star, could be a lurker. Always tends to run well at this track. It's got Rachel Vinegar aboard taking the one and a half kgs off the back. So I thought this could be a nice lurker at around about six, seven to one. As well as number 10, Maquette, who's holding the form, never far off the action. And if she brings her A-game, she'll be absolutely flying at them late. It shows you when you start looking into the form lines and you start going through all the runners. You pick up an extra runner here and an extra runner there. After listening to Garth Puller, I've been keeping a close eye on number 8. Willem Me has come tumbling down to a 53 in the ratings. The apprentice had a winner the other day. And Willem Me Devon is one of those horses that could cause a bit of a stir. No, definitely. Uh, dropped in the ratings. They're very, very capable. Some very encouraging uh, comments there from Garth Puller. And the speed is certainly going to be on. And you can find a horse like this flying at them late in the day. Well, there you heard from Devon. He is looking to take on the younger brigade and looking for the elder brigade to come through. So to the horse like number nine, Flying the Star, along with number eight, Will and Me, and obviously one Divine Moonlight, and number six, Princess Arlo, will certainly have their supporters. It's Donovan Everture from Cape Racing and uh, I'd just like to say it's an absolute pleasure to be involved with uh, Intrabet and Cape Readers in this, uh, in this golf day today here at Pearl Valley. Um, it's fantastic for the industry to see all the relevant stakeholders coming down and having a good time and networking and it's exactly what the, the industry needs right now in terms of moving forward and recreating some positivity to take us forward into the next year.